Our next speaker is a self-employed programmer who loves solving puzzles and learning new things. Please welcome James Kruth. Hi, everyone. So, as Ryan said, I am a programmer here in town. I run my own business, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about asking better questions. Now, the first thing you may be asking yourself is, I'm a programmer, right? Isn't this what my day looks like? Actually, I spend a ton of time talking to people, asking people what they do, uh, what I can do for them, finding out more about them. And one thing happens over and over again. I hear this phrase, there are no bad questions. So raise your hand if you've heard this as well. Now, another thing I hear all the time is, good question. And so it started making me wonder, how can there be good questions if there are no bad questions? And so I thought about this a little bit. Turned out I had to go to one of my personal heroes to get an answer on this. He's actually sort of a fixture here at the AADL. It's coming up just in a second here yet, Mr. Bob Ross. Now, he says you need dark in order to show the light. You need bad questions in order to have good questions. But then why do we say this thing about there being no bad questions? I have a little theory about this. It's fear. If anyone ever has had to ask a question, like in a situation like this, you might think, man, that's a scary thing. And so it turns out that I know a little bit about fear. I took up a new hobby about two years ago. Yep, that's me. I've learned about a lot of scary things since I started doing this, had a lot of falls and everything. And the thing about it is, is that when you start rock climbing, you learn that the only way you can get through fear is by practicing. And it turns out Bob Ross has something to say about this too, and maybe everything else. I love this quote. And one of the reasons I love this quote is because basically it says that we can practice, we can get better at things. But how do we begin to practice? Well, the first thing I like to do is go talk to an authority or find an authority. And so I went to search the internet, which is always kind of a dubious prospect, and I found something like an authority. Now, this document, not great. It's really long, it's hard to read, and it's going to call you a loser at least a couple times throughout the course of it. Now, I have to apologize here because I took a page out of Steve Jobs' book and I've stolen the rest of the content of my presentation from another source on the internet, someone named Julia Evans. Now, she is a blogger and a wonderful stick figure comic artist, and not the only one, but this is her comic on asking good questions. I love this comic and I love her blog posts. One of the great things about this comic is it's so accessible. We've got this nice six-step process for asking better questions, but it's very computery. It talks about databases and indexes, and so I wanted to do something a little more accessible, and going off of the prospect that you can never have too much Bob Ross in the presentation, I created comics with the help of my good friend, Mia Gosling, using Bob Ross. So first thing you wanna do is find a good time to ask a question. Everyone is super busy. Everyone has a lot going on. And so you want to make sure that if you're going to impose on someone, you, can, you have time to ask, they have time to answer. You also want to state what you know. If you can actually start by saying, these are the things that I know, and I have a question about this following thing, it can really, really help. You can answer the question much more clearly. You also want to ask a factual question here. If I go to Bob and I say, hey, Bob, what's your favorite painting? He may answer that question differently every time. Whereas if I can ask a question based in fact, he's gonna have a much easier time giving an answer. You also wanna choose who to ask. One of these two artists is going to be much more likely to help me paint happy trees. I'll let you figure out who that is. Before you ask a question too, you wanna do some research. It can always help if you go out and you try and learn a little bit on your own. You'll be able to ask a more specific question be able to ask a question that is going to uh, maybe use a little bit of the time of the person that you're talking to. If you follow these steps, both you and the person you're asking are going to profit. You're going to learn more, and the person uh, that answered your question is going to uh, be able to reinforce their skills. 
Now, just to wrap this up, I want to thank a few people, Julia Evans for allowing me to use the comic, Mia Gosling for helping me make my comics, all of you for listening, and that is me dressed as Bob Ross in the climbing gym. Thank you all. Thanks, James. 